Floyd Mayweather, one of the most iconic figures in the history of boxing, recently offered his insights and analysis on the highly anticipated matchup between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia. Moreover, Roy Jones Jr. shared his insights on the likely result of the Garcia versus Haney clash. The good thing about it, they fought six times as amateurs, and they both are well familiar with one another, right? That means that you probably won't get no early round. Alongside unveiling the key factors that could sway the outcome of the Haney versus Garcia bout, Roy imparted invaluable wisdom to King Rai. Meanwhile, Jones Jr. elaborated on his reasons for not anticipating an early round knockout. He further underscored the familiarity between the two pugilists, having squared off numerous times in their amateur careers, highlighting a profound understanding of each other's style and strategy. Stoppage. You probably won't get too much early round action. We get action, but it shouldn't be nothing that we don't expect. Uh, the longer the fight goes, the more we're gonna figure out who has, uh, um, who has grown as a professional and who has not. Roy harbored the aspiration that the match wouldn't end prematurely in the early rounds. He believed that the extended duration of the fight would serve as a litmus test, revealing the extent of each fighter's professional growth. Uh, professional boxing is different from amateur boxing, and when you start to find that out, is when the rounds start to get longer. You find out who developed and who has not developed as a professional. And that's what this fight is going to show up. According to Roy Jones Jr.'s assessment, Garcia heavily relied on his hook in the fight against Davis. However, Davis had King Rai's moves figured out. Consequently, Ryan found himself in a desperate situation and ultimately succumbed to a knockout. What I think he needs to do is he got to use more weapons. You know, you can't just depend on the left hook because everybody knows about your left hook now. You feel me? So if it's just your left hook, that should not work because... Like Tank said, all you got is left hook, you're not going to beat me. And he did. So once again, if Devin understand that, but like I say, he and Devin know each other better than he and Tank did. So you never can not tell. But I think he should have developed more tools. Offering his insights into the impending clash, former WBA Intercontinental Super Lightweight Champion Kenneth Sims Jr. has weighed in on what he believes will transpire in the ring. Having engaged in sparring sessions with Devin Haney, Sims Jr. possesses a profound understanding of Haney's capabilities and the intricacies of boxing. Sims Jr. said, Yeah, I sparred Devin when he was getting ready for his Combosos fight. I never been in there with Ryan. Ryan got some talent, he's explosive, fast, can punch, but I think Devin should pull it out. After the loss to Gervonta Davis in April last year, Ryan Garcia said he was getting bored with Tank. As a result, he fought desperately and ended up getting knocked out. Kenneth Sims Jr. believes that Haney's ring instincts will outshine Garcia's when it comes to making crucial decisions. He said, I think he's more technical. He's smarter in the ring when it comes to making decisions. Ryan said it himself in that Tank fight. He said he got bored and decided to just go crazy, and that's when it all went down. I think Devin will probably outthink him. Furthermore, Sims Jr. noted that Haney and Garcia engaged in several bouts as amateurs. Nevertheless, considering Haney's ring intelligence, Sims Jr. favored the dream over King Rai. Subsequently, when questioned if fans could anticipate a knockout on April 20th, the 30-year-old had a response prepared. He added, I think Devin got the ability to stop him, just like Ryan got the ability to stop him. And it's boxing. You'll never know what is going to happen until you get in there. On being asked if he would be surprised to see Garcia outbox Haney, Sims Jr. said, that would be a surprise. I'd be less surprised if Devin stopped him. I don't expect a one-punch type of knockout. The boxing community questioned Ryan Garcia's mental health as a result of some of the dubious remarks he tweeted. The 25-year-old even had an obligatory mental health assessment later on, at the NY Sachs request. Many were expecting Haney to take out Garcia at this point. But what is the opinion of Kenneth Sims Jr.? He said, I think it's boxing where everybody can punch in 8-ounce gloves. Anybody can be knocked out anytime. That's why you need to to stay sharp on defense. Meanwhile, Sean Porter conjectured that Garcia's recent dubious remarks and unpredictable behavior, which have raised questions about his mental state, might all be set up. Porter stated that he thinks Garcia is locked and loaded for his junior welterweight match against title holder Devin Haney. That Ryan may have experienced and knows from way back then that he can tap into. Right. It ain't nothing he could have tapped into against Tank. Right. We hear whatever happens, happens. I got caught. It is what it is. But He's tasted the speed. He's, he's seen the speed. He's tasted the power from, from Devin. I think he's going to come to the ring comfortable against Devin, confident against Devin. He got Derrick James in the corner now. Mm -hmm. So they work in fundamentals and, and basics. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think that shoulder roll is not going to be there. If it, if it is, it's going to be cleaned up. Guess what? He got with Mayweather for a little bit of time. You know what I mean? Right. So 
I think he's coming to the ring prepared. Enter actor and accomplished martial artist Michael Jai White, who offers a critical viewpoint. In a recent interview, White questioned Garcia's crazy acts efficacy. Speaking with DJ Vlad, he issued a warning, saying that these diversions won't cover up the crucial advancements Garcia must make in the ring. What does Ryan Garcia's situation entail as fight night approaches? At the heart of the discussion, Michael Jai White laid bare his thoughts on Ryan Garcia's current form and mental game. He said, I think Devin Haney will pull that out. I feel Ryan has a lot of work. I think he was kind of manufactured by, I mean, he's a good looking guy. He's got a great looking punch. He's got power, but yeah. I think Gervonta exposed a lot that he needs to work on. White acknowledged that he didn't know anything about Garcia's recent unusual behavior when the topic turned to it. I don't know anything about it, he confessed. Upon learning about Garcia's alarming social media posts, where he claimed to have been kidnapped and involved in bizarre scenarios, White expressed serious concerns. White remarked, if that's the truth, that's not good. That does not go well in his favor, because here's a guy who needs to work on his fundamentals seriously. Furthermore, White rejected the interviewer's theory that Garcia's bizarre and crazy actions were a calculated tactic to scare opponents. He firmly stated, no, it's not going to work. There's a lot of people that Garcia is going to have problems with if he doesn't. He further emphasized the fallout from Garcia's previous bout with Gervonta Davis, saying, the showing with Gervonta, it was really bad. He's got to get around that fairly. He's got to really put some work in. For this reason, Michael Jai White believes Devin Haney will prevail in the bout. Now that a victory is all but certain, what will Devin do in the ring? In response to Ryan Garcia's contemptuous comments regarding his recent media exercise, Devin Haney answered with confidence. Garcia had minimized Haney's effort, implying that with his help, even a 12-year-old could hit more forcefully. Garcia said, Devin Haney's media workout, that sh was weak. I could put that mother down with better training. However, Haney declared, vowing to win their next fight handily. What looks to be an exciting showdown is set up by the tension. He said, Ryan's still fat. Wallahi, I knock him out 420. Meanwhile, the CEO of Mayweather Promotions is not too happy about the low number of tickets sold for this fight, which is in sharp contrast to the Gervonta Davis versus Rolando Romero match that took place in the same venue two years ago. Shakur Stevenson and other celebrities have already expressed their dissatisfaction with the high costs, which seem to have put an end to the excitement. Premium ringside ones cost as much as $20,000, although they start at $114. Using his X handle, Leonard Ellerbe replied to a fan's message praising the outcome of Davis versus Romero at the same venue. Ellerbe wrote, Clearly whoever scaled their fight didn't know what they were doing and it will ultimately cost the fighters a bunch of money. While they're making jokes, they should be focused on all those tickets that are still in the box office. Can't blame Hearn on this one. Many have questioned why Las Vegas, which may have increased foot traffic, was not chosen to host the eagerly awaited fight. In February, Mayweather Promotions' linchpin painted the target at Oscar De La Hoya. As he declared, when you rushing and don't have everything buttoned up, this kind of shit happens. I love BK, but Vegas is where the big dollars are at. Not rocket science genius. Now, the Garcia versus Haney bout may not sell out the arena unless De La Hoya decides to lower the price. Garcia, who had also requested a price reduction, has been troubled by the same worry. Throwing shade at Haney, he addressed the ticket situation and acknowledged that he wanted everyone to come to his fight. He said, Devin Haney is not a draw, and I definitely have been carrying this promotion on my back by myself. Nobody wants to watch a guy that supposedly can't crack an egg. Garcia then mentioned how he had wanted prices to be lowered for his fight. He said, I think I was a big advocate for lowering the prices. I think, personally, the prices were very high, and I want everybody to be in the building. The 24-1 record holder added, I don't think a lot of Americans can afford $500 tickets for the top row. I wouldn't even pay that, and I have enough money to do that, but I'm not going to pay $500 to be at the top row. That's crazy. On the other hand, Floyd Mayweather Jr. recently came under fire from Devin Haney for allegedly releasing a video of him sparring with Gervonta Tank Davis. Although Mayweather and Haney have previously trained together, the former has become more intimate with Ryan Garcia and Davis, two of Haney's rivals. Perceiving that as the final straw in their increasing hostility, Haney retaliated on X. He said, Floyd has been hating a long time. This ain't just start. I held my tongue for years because I respect the greats of the sport. But the dude is a bona fide hater. Don't want to see nobody win if he's not a part of it. On the other hand, prior to his fight with Haney on April 20th, Garcia said that Floyd Mayweather was attempting to undermine his fight. Lately, Ben Thompson from Fight Hype said, Ryan Garcia is mentally injured and his fight with Devin Haney must be postponed. As anticipated, King Rai is offended by Thompson's response. Similarly, Garcia alleged that Thompson was attempting to postpone Garcia versus Haney at Floyd Mayweather's request when he spoke with Thompson. My whole thing is how you said that this fight needs to be stopped it needs to be canceled i, I didn't say that i know that you're working for floyd and floyd probably told you to try to make my sh 
go down. Garcia emphasized that the fight would go ahead as planned and that no one could stop it, including Fight Hype or Floyd Mayweather. He reassured everyone that he was perfectly fine and had been training hard for the bout. But I need, you, I need you to know that I'm not gonna, this fight is going on, nobody can stop it, nor Fight Hot, nor Floyd Mayweather, nobody's gonna stop this fight because I'm perfectly fine and I've been training very hard and you know I love you, Ben. Examining the counsel that Mayweather previously provided to Garcia is pertinent in this regard. Ryan Garcia forged a brief relationship with Floyd Mayweather. He even trained using TBE in actuality. Garcia also tried the shoulder roll against Oscar Duarte, influenced by Mayweather. Subsequently, the 25-year-old Year old said he would approach Mayweather to assist him in making the move better. Anyway, Mayweather objected to Garcia snatching Haney's super lightweight title. Garcia said, he's like, why would you do that? Why don't you fight Raleigh for the belt and then fight Haney? I said, that makes sense, but I told the people already I'm gonna fight Devin. As the countdown to the fight continues, the boxing world is eagerly awaiting to see who will emerge victorious in this highly anticipated matchup between two promising young talents. Make sure to check out some of our other videos on the screen if you enjoyed this one.